Hey guys, this is Jimmy. So, for the last two days I've been working on making an anti-wobble bracket. Because uh, I believe that a lot of the prints I was having were... I had lines... Let's see if I've got one here that I can show on camera. I don't... Anyway, there's these very distinct lines. This is a bracket that I broke. I was trying to press a nut into it and it didn't work out so hot. Let's see if I can get something... There's these very distinct lines that were in the print. And it's, all my prints have been like that ever since I got the printer. And let me see if this other one, if I can see it better with it. It's not horrible. It's not something that's a deal breaker. It's not really, really bad. But I just wanted to get something that was a little bit cleaner print. Wait, I know. Here, here we go. Might be able to see it better with my... This is a, a filament. Uh, move the camera up here. Uh, I have this set up on the top of my 3D printer to hold the filament off the top edge of it so it doesn't rub. But as you can see, you can see around the corner there how it's got the grooves. And it matched up perfectly with the rods on the Z axis. So I believed it was uh, the wobble from the, from the Z axis rods, that maybe they weren't completely straight. But I've done a lot of readjusting and adjusting on it, and I've got them where they're pretty, pretty straight. Uh, the couplers, I had to loosen them and to retighten them a few times to get everything squared up. And everything looked straight, but yet I kept having that, those lines appear. So, I've been working on this bracket, trying to get something set up where I could actually fit a nut into it. And eventually I might actually carry it out and finish it out, but, you know, I'd just haven't got that sized up right when I tried to press the nut into it it's it cracked it because it's PLA but it's no big deal um, but last night I happened to be be up uh, checking out uh, YouTube and uh, Joel from uh, 3d printing nerd he happened to come on and did a live stream and I asked the question about you know told him the, that it was a G Tech Prusa i3 uh, printer and that I was having the problem with the, the lines around the print. And one suggestion that he made was change the temperature. And I didn't, at first I'm like, eh, really? But you know what? Uh, compared to, let's see if I can find the bracket that I broke earlier compared to the one last night. This one here this bottom one is one that I printed yesterday. And as you can see, the lines are very more distinct than the one above it. This was printed at 195. I, did, I believe I had the first layer at 200, and then I printed at 195 Celsius. Um, okay, I had it five, 5 degrees higher than, than the regular print. So I believe it was printed at about 195. So after seeing his the comment that he made about it, I went ahead and I upped my temperature to it was 210 for the first layer, and then it dropped down to 205 for the remaining of the print. It's a whole lot smoother. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the very first model that I that I did a video on where I printed the little Marvin keychain and I'll put the link in the video description and I'm going to give that a shot and just see what it looks like if it still has the lines in it I'll continue on trying to fix up the bracket so it'll actually work if not I'm if it works out fine I'm just going to abandon the idea and, and just count up to experience because <laughs> once again I'm brand new at this um, I just built the printer back on Valentine's Day so that's, once again, I'm very new to 3D printing. So let's go ahead and uh, do a time lapse of the Marvin keychain being printed. This is going to be at uh, 210 degrees. I'm doing it uh, the same temperature all the way through on the print. And we'll see how it turns out. I'll see you at the end of the video.
Okay, so the Marvin is done. And from what I can tell, it's, it turned out really good. Now, one thing you're going to notice, I've in the past have been very proud of the fact that I didn't have to use any hairspray, didn't have to use any of the glue or nothing like that. This is a sample of what happened whenever I turned up the heat. I started out by having it at 200 and 10 degrees Celsius and didn't bother to have it where was a temperature difference between the, the first layer and the rest of the layers. And the first thing that started happening is the print started to fail. Every time it would uh, start to print the upper layers, the feet would turn loose from the bed. So now that I'm printing at a higher temperature, now I'm having to use glue. And just so happened I found a really old glue stick in my mom's office here. <laughs> I mean, this thing is probably from when I was a kid. <laughs> so it's probably, what, I'm guessing probably about 20 or 30 years old. Maybe older than that. I'm 42, so there's no time how old that thing is. But anyway, it was, it, uh, I just smeared a little bit on there, and it stuck perfectly fine. So it looks like I'll be using glue or painter's tape or anything from now on that I'm using a higher temperature. Uh, one thing that I can tell you, let me get the camera off here. The print quality of it is a lot better. Uh, there are still lines, but nothing like it was before. I can live with that. Let me show you the difference here. Let me back this thing out. This is my camera mount that I have on my tripod. And as you can see, you can see the lines in it, how definite the lines, lines were. You don't see that as much on this. The, there are lines there, but when you run your fingernail across it, you don't feel them near as much. So I'm really happy with the way that turned out. So I ended up doing it at uh, 200. In 10 degrees, or sorry about, uh, yeah, 210 degrees Celsius. I did the first layer at 215, bed temperature of 70. And it seems like it's working out all right. I might do some more tweaking after that, but right now that's where I'm going to stay with it. So let's do one more time lapse. I'm going to do one a little bit bigger so we can see how the lines look.
Okay, and we're back. Wow, what a difference. Just the, upping that temperature seemed like it helped a lot. This is the one from earlier today that I did. I just barely got home from work. Uh, it's uh, about 10 o'clock at night. Anyway, the deton, it's really smooth compared to... Now this, if you saw the video of my very first print uh, I did a while back where it was a blue one, this was the same model. And it was done at a 3 point li a 0.3 layer height, and it was before I knew how to slow down anything on the printer. I didn't didn't have any settings done, and as you can see, it just really horrible detail on it. I mean, even this part here is stretched out looking. Um, and by slowing up the print, like G Tech and many other people told me to do, it uh, really smoothed it out. But the thing is, the lines that I had. From, let's see if I can find, I had some other models I was going to bring out that had the lines. Yeah, this one right here. If you can see those, let's see if I can get that zoomed in better. There's line, de yeah, there we got it. See those lines? Look at that. And that's from turning up the temperature from, I believe it was 195 degrees Celsius up to 210. Um, one of my friends at work mentioned maybe, because uh, he has a flash, fo flash forge, and he mentioned turning up the temperature to uh, all the way up to possibly 220 degrees, maybe even 235. But uh, I think that's looking pretty good. And then this one... Once again, I started using glue. <laughs> it's actually worked out pretty good. I'm going to get some new glue sticks tomorrow. This one here, you can see a little bit more in the way of ridges. Down, down here. Let's see if I can get zoom in right. See some ridges right there. That's kind of like it used to be, but up here it's looking a lot cleaner. So it has some ridges to it. So I might go ahead and let do, like I said, and trim up the... Pre the, the Heat a little bit more, but I think it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. It's it's a lot better than than what it looked like when I uh, very first started printing with this printer. Just little little things here and there. I just got to adjust, and I think it's going to be just fine. Either way, I'm happy with it. The the printer is just an awesome printer. I mean, for 330 bucks, you can't beat it. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for today. I uh, hope you like my video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. I believe right now I'm sitting at either 18 or 19 subscriptions. I'd love to bump it up. <laughs> I'd love to get up to 100 so that I could I could uh, change the name like. Right now, whenever I, I share a video or whatever, it doesn't say Jimmy Shaw's Tidbits. It says ABC123, blah, 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 like that. And I'd love to be able to change that name, and I can't do it until I hit 100 subscriptions. So if you like my video, if you want to share it, I'd sure appreciate it. And uh, that'll be it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Bye.